Hey, Claude Pallon here, affiliate starting line. Welcome. This is uh, the second video about the SEO Moz Beginner Guide to SEO, Chapter 2. And in this one, you, they, they tell you how people interact with search engines. Uh, it's an interesting chapter. Uh, it's, it's, if you're new, you should pay some attention here. There's a lot of interesting information. If uh, you've been around a while, you've already, you already know a lot of this. But let's take a look at it. Uh, on the right-hand side here, there's a sidebar that explains the eight-step process to searches. If someone experiences the need for an answer or a solution to a problem. They formulate that need in, in phase two, in part step two, in the form of a keyword. They enter that keyword in step three into the search engine. Step four, they, get, they browse through the results. In step five, they click on a result. In step six, they look for a solution uh, on the page they clicked. In step seven, if they're not satisfied, they go back to the search results, browse for another link. And then in step eight, they perform a new search with refinements uh, if they didn't get all the information in the first link. And then they go on here to explain on the left-hand side that there are three different types of queries. There's a do query, a transactional query, an action a query is such as buying an airplane ticket or uh, listening to a song. In other words, there is an action that's taken and it gets completed with uh, the, the search, like filling in a form, uh, buying, a, uh, uh, you know, buying a product, etc. Second type of search query is a no, an informational query. So you're, you're a little early in the sales cycle here. You're looking for information. Uh, in the name of a band, name of a restaurant, some basic information about a product. You don't know which one you want to buy yet or model, but you're looking for uh, to get informed about what, what to look for. And then the third kind of search is the go, the navigational search. You know where you want to go. Search queries like a particular online destination such as Facebook or homepage of the NFL. Uh, you know, I want to go to chocolate.com. I just type it in and here and I go. So those are the types of searches. And then the power of inbound marketing with SEO. So um, this is, this explains through a series of searches how Google and search in general has grown, uh, you know, enormously over time. And then it breaks down the statistics to show that Google is number one, uh, Yahoo is number two, uh, Bing is number three. Uh, more Americans have conducted 20 billion searches in one month in the U.S. Um, Total searches powered by Google properties were almost 70%, uh, followed by Bing with 30%. Billions of online marketing uh, spent, 20, 77 billion to be spent by 2000, 2016, and so on. So you can get the idea that more and more people are using search um, and that, let me see, a search engine by traffic. Google sends 90% of all traffic to a site, 3%, uh, 4% for Yahoo, uh, three percent or almost four percent for Bing, etc. So you get the idea that the momentum is building. The more uh, more interesting thing here is this. They cite a, a, a study, and uh, if you want to see, just click on this. It'll send you there, right here. But uh, that's not what I want to do. That explains that how little attention is paid to results on the page versus those higher up. In other words, in this heat map right here, you can see where all the attention is. It's up on the upper left-hand portion of the screen. And while search is very popular and it's growing at 20% a year, um, higher rankings in the few results are critical to visibility. Search results, an incredible amount of both online and offline economic activity. You really want to be on the upper part of the page. That's really basically what the message is. And that's really the gist of, of, of chapter two. And what I, what it, let's take a look and see what they really mean. So let's go over here and I did a search. Let's do a search on walking shoes. All right, this is just a typical product. And I'm gonna refresh here just to make sure that what I'm getting is. All right, so let's take a look at what we have. What we have here in walking shoes is a page where you've got navigation at the top, you've got the search box, you've got uh, a little more navigation on the left, uh, some options on the left, and then upper on the top, very top, hot part of the screen, which is where all the eyes go, paid advertising. You also have paid advertising on the right. And then on below here, you have more uh, links related to the product, only of major brands. Now, this is all gonna be paid and the, the Google announced that this was all going to be paid. And what we have below it are the first organic search results. 
So there's only one and barely two, and this is a wide screen. And some screens you won't even see that, you might be barely seeing one. So most of the information that I'm looking at on this page is paid advertising. The, the, the subtext here is, remember, Google is a search engine, it's also an advertising agency. And the same holds for Yahoo and the same holds for Bing. So while this chapter is, is, is very interesting and the point that I would uh, make that you should pay attention to is really what's brought out down here with this heat map. Uh, and if you understand that, now it's interesting, the other thing that I want to point out, this search here is what is called in broad. I just typed in the keywords. If I put in that very same keyword phrase in quotes, that is exact match, the results are different. Gone is the hotspot ad at the top. There's some advertising on the right, but the hotspots now are in the organic. There are actually more organic results down here in exact match. And that's giving me result in the exact order in which I typed in these words, which is the way I do most of my searches. So it's very interesting to, to pick this up. And I think this is a very interesting point about this chapter. And that's it. So that, this is chapter two of the SEO Moz Beginner's Guide to SEO. You should read it with interest and uh, pick up the basic concepts. I hope this video has been helpful. This is Claude Polano, Affiliate Starting Line. Stay with it, stay well, and we'll talk to you soon.